Hi everyone, welcome back to more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with an update on Sandro Tenali. Yes, the news has broken in the rain in Newcastle, as you can clearly see, as I'm wearing my waterproof and my hat. That's how bad it is. Smashing off my motor here as I'm bringing this update to you. But the news is broken that Sandro Tenali has uh, had his punishment officially declared. So it's a 10 month ban. Um, that we all thought was coming. I think all the major journalists reported it really, but now it's been made official. The Italian FA have issued him with a 10 month ban. Within the 10 month, there's eight months of uh, rehab that he must attend, uh, a rehab program to, to get a hold of his addiction to gambling. Also, within this, this punishment, if you will, or you know, this kind of penalty that he has to serve in his suspension. He obviously can't play for uh, Newcastle in a competitive game. He can't play for Italy in a competitive game. So he'll miss the entire season. He'll miss the European Championships in the summer. And he won't be able to return to action until August 2024. So it's a huge blow for a young player at such a key point in his career. Um, maybe it's a turning point for Sandro, not just in his career, but in his life, to get things in, in order, to, to get, get over this addiction that he has to gambling in the background. But it's a massive blow. For Newcastle United, it's 50 odd million quid's worth of player that we can't use uh, for a year and a half. He is allowed to train with Newcastle United and he is allowed to play in friendlies, which I'm pretty sure he will play in a lot of behind closed door friendlies just to keep him kind of in the in the picture and, and match sharp as well. But it's a massive blow for the club and for the player. Uh, within this punishment as well, he, he has to uh, attend, I believe it's, uh, it's, it's 16 sessions where he works with young kids uh, for uh, a community service in terms of... Um, you know, using his, his his status as a footballer to to do a bit of community service, but which is probably a good thing to come out of this terrible incident. He's been fined twenty thousand euro as well, so he really has had a a real real battering of a punishment really from from the Italian FA. But it's not as bad as it could have been. People were fearing it was going to be a year, to three years in the initial instance. So ten months without a player isn't great. But, you know, 10 months without the player is a lot better than three years without the player. And, and I really hope that Sandro Tonali gets the support that he needs within that that 10-month period. It looks like he will be. The fact that he's got to go to a, a rehab um, kind of... Um, program effectively to get a hold of this addiction so hopefully that will help give him what he needs and, and get this addiction under control because it is an addiction it is an illness i don't often agree with what paul merson says but when he spoke so eloquently about the the addiction and the gambling problem i think people needed to listen to that really i think the football and govern government has to listen to that as well and this is the italian fa uh, i've not heard what the, the english fa are going to do but i think they'll probably just follow suit and have them banned from from competition probably for the similar period of time um I have seen some outlandish shit from from journalists who take any opportunity to, to boot Newcastle, saying that it's a shame that uh, Ivan Tony didn't get the same kind of uh, support mechanism. Or maybe talk about the English FA then, because that's nothing to do with Sandro Tonali and the Italian FA. So, uh, yeah, I won't talk too much about that particular bell end, but you can probably tell who he is. Uh, he loves wine and a cheese board. Um, so, yeah, this is where it is. You know, we knew this was going to come with Tonali. So, what are Newcastle United going to do next? You know, we're going to have to look really and see who in the squad can step up and take Sandro's place. We're battered with injuries. Uh, Elliot Anderson's out now for three weeks with a bad back. Joe Willock came back uh, against Dortmund, which was great. We need Joe Willock to get sharp, quick, to get back into the side. Sean's still there playing. Joe Linton's still there playing. Bruno's still there playing. So we have cover in midfield, but I think 100% come January, we're going to be signing a player. And I'd be shocked if it isn't Calvin Phillips. Um, of Manchester City I think for many reasons I think one defensive midfielders now that we need cover for two he's got experience in the Premier League uh, and three I think he would fit into the side straight away in the absence of Tenali but we do need to sort something out uh, as a club um, it, isn't, uh, it isn't great to lose a player of that quality for that period of time uh, and Newcastle are going to have to do something about it we are going to feel the impact the only thing you can maybe say is that, that Tenali's not been here long enough really to uh, be a huge player to miss without starting to uh, um, kind of denigrate him to, to the player He's, we've seen little flashes of him but it's not like we're missing Bruno Guimaraes or something like that or, or Alexander Izak for 10 months um, so yeah it's not the end of the world for Newcastle but I'm glad that it's done I actually felt Tonali came off the bench with the with the, the weight of the world off his shoulders I felt against uh, Dortmund he looked so much better sadly and, and ironically given the fact that's probably his last game for, for 10 months but uh, I think the player needed it off his shoulder the club needed it off their shoulders it's done with now uh, you know we, we wish Sandro well in his recovery and we move on but let us know in the comments below what you guys think about the situation are you still disappointed about the whole situation can you forgive Tenali you want to put your arms around him or do you want to put your foot up his arse whatever you think you know we, we welcome any opinions on the channel uh, we don't, you know, uh, block people and 
and tell people they shouldn't have an opinion if it doesn't match anyone else's opinion. That's what Evermore is good for, guys. If you like that kind of thing, like, subscribe, be a member if you fancy. We'll be back soon with some more Newcastle United content, hopefully uh, with the lads getting three points at the weekend against Wolves. I think we need it after Dortmund and this news today. Uh, when it rains, it pours. Have a good day, everyone. See you later. Cheers. Bye.